Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss another interesting topic that is dynamically populating the custom label parameters in Salesforce. So within a custom label, we will have uh, some value that will be coming dynamically and we are going to see how it works. So firstly, starting with the basics as always, what are custom labels in Salesforce? So custom labels enable developers to create multilingual applications by automatically presenting uh, values or some uh, help text error messages in users native language. So custom labels are custom text values that can be accessed from all automations like Apex classes, Visual Force pages, Lightning components, Lightning pages, and they can be translated to many different uh, languages that Salesforce supports. Uh, we can create up to 5000 custom labels in our organization and they can uh, be up to 1000 characters in length. Custom labels from managed package does not count towards this limit. Uh, now, if you want to check in your org, uh, how to find out what are, uh, which custom labels are not from the managed package, you can use the tooling API to query. Uh, so within the developer console, you will have a, a use tooling API checkbox. You need to check that and you need to perform this query. Uh, the object is custom label and uh, where manageable state is uh, like unmanaged. So unmanaged mean your custom labels, your own custom labels, which have been created by you to access custom labels in different automations. So for example, in Apex, we can access it using this syntax, or if you want to fetch the labels dynamically, you can do that using this within flow and visual force page. We have, uh, we have the dollar label global variable in the aura components. We have dollar dollar label dot, uh, namespace dot label name. This is the syntax. Within the lightning components, uh, lightning web components, we have uh, this syntax, uh, importing the custom label from at the rate salesforce slash label slash namespace dot label name. And within the lightning app builder, we have this uh, syntax within the curly braces. Now, how we can populate uh, custom labels, uh, populating the custom label params dynamically. So we can use the format method of the string class in Apex to dynamically insert string params in custom label. Uh, so here is an example. Let's say you create a custom label with curly braces zero was last updated uh, curly braces one. So uh, curly braces zero and curly, curly braces one will be uh, values that will be populated dynamically. Now, now you are creating a list of object and uh, within it you are populating two values. First is universal containers and second is the date time. Now you will use the uh, format method of the string class and the first parameter would be your custom label name and second would be your list of object. Now once you system.debug it, it would be like universal containers was last updated on this specific date and time. So zero uh, and one would be dynamically populated. Within aura components, uh, we can use the below syntax. Uh, we have this, uh, this uh, exclamation mark format and the label uh, name getting populated and with the second value would be the dynamic parameters. Uh, so as of now, LWC is still lacking this functionality, but we can uh, create our own custom logic and logic. So we'll see a demo now. And I've created this custom label with the name as account error. The name is account underscore error. And the value is there was an error while updating uh, curly braces zero. So with uh, so now you understand within the curly braces zero will have some value that would be coming dynamically. Uh, so now let me go to my code. This is our Apex class and uh, this is the input list we are passing to the aura enabled method. And this is how the input list would look like. So it is an array of object. The object will contain uh, the uh, one of the key as label name, which would be the name of the API name of the label. Second would be the dynamic params. So this would be a list of strings which we are going to populate. So uh, then what we are doing, uh, we are using the we are fetch firstly we are fetching the uh, label custom label dynamically using the system dot label dot get which I showed you. Then we are using the string dot format method and within this string dot format method, our first uh, value is a string that is the custom label name and in the, within the second value, we are passing a list 
of uh, dynamic params and uh, the dynamic params will be added dynamically then we are just uh, we have created a map of object comma string and we are uh, putting the label name slash the result in that and then returning it to our lwc so now let me go to my lwc and see what's happening in the lwc so i have made the connected callback as async here and this is our input list for now this is hard coded you can send uh, you can create this list dynamically and send it to your apex class uh, so my label name is account.error and my dynamic params are uh, I only have one param so that is why only a single param with create and then I'm executing my apex class then I'm checking if uh, data.accounterror exists then uh, populate this dot result with data.accounterror and in the HTML I'm just updating this value so now le what let me do let me create uh, let me change it to update from create and let me deploy this and let's see if it works so it has been deployed successfully now let me go to my org this is my org and let me click on inspect and let me refresh it and boom you can see the text got updated uh, successfully and within this curly braces zero update was added uh, our dynamic value was added successfully uh, so that's all for today's video and the uh, today we talked about custom labels and how we can dynamically insert uh, params uh, in the custom label values and how we can fetch the custom labels in different apex in different salesforce automations so thanks everyone for watching this video and do subscribe to my channel for more such videos in the future thanks everyone